So the hybrid kite just came out, and I got a chance to have the hybrid kite for around a month. Flysurfer sent me the 3.5 to test out, but hasn't seen this video until the time you see it and did not influence its content. This is a quick review of my experiences with this kite so far. So this kite is absurdly light. Not only because it is small, but also because it's half double skin and half single skin. The hybrid is one of the most lightweight constructions for water use. Weight has a significant impact on performance, and that is what I saw when I tested this guy. I had 4 meter inflatables and other kites, so I was expecting that I would need super strong winds to ride it, but it wasn't the case. But before I talk about riding experiences, let us take a look at the construction. This kite has only one valve air intake and one escape valve you close when using. The bridle system is interesting and has one line crossing the kite in each direction to be able to relaunch it once the kite goes into safety. It is a very simple four-line kite. I tested it with the high V-bar and also a low V-bar. There is a performance tuner, but I didn't get a chance to make changes and try it. So I use it as it came. One of the things I noticed is how much this kite was able to cut power on the bar. Once I pulled the bar or moved the kite, it produced a lot of pull. But if the bar was up, the force was minimal. I tested the 3.5 hybrid with a twin twip board in a day with around 20 to 25 knots. Other people were riding inflatables from 10 to 8 meters. I was impressed, I managed to ride so well and do small jumps. So was everybody at the beach when they saw me ride with such a small kite. That day, I got a beginner rider to use it and he quickly got riding and managed to go upwind easily. I also tested it on a light wind day with around 12 to 15 knots of wind. Again, people rode with 12s or bigger kites, maintaining height. I wasn't able to ride, but I got a lighter rider to be able to go with this kite. However, he was going a little bit downwind. On the last test I did, I got a rider with a hydrofoil with winds around 14 to 18 knots, whereas other riders were on 12s with twin tips and 9 to 8 meters with the hydrofoil. He was going upwind at ease and having fun with the kite. The performance was impressive considering the size and the speed this kite could move. I'm very interested in testing the bigger sizes as this can be a fantastic tool to use on those light wind days to teach beginners to water start or to take a ride. For hydrofoil, I think this is an unbeatable kite due to the range and possibilities it opens. I also tested the relaunchability of the kite by leaving it a bit in the water. I tested normal relaunching by pulling on one line with a very fast relaunch and pulling both back lines to do a reverse launch. It managed perfectly, even in light winds. Then I tested leaving it a bit in the water and then trying to relaunch it, and I managed it without any problem. So this kite, due to being so light and so much powerful, it's perfect for traveling as you can take several kites and cover a very big wind range without having a problem with weight in the airport. If you want to know more about some other kites, just check the next video.